Hey guys, it's Dan O'Donnell from PositiveAtmosphere.com and uh, today I want to give you a couple tidbits. Actually, I'm going to kind of run all over the place today. I want to talk a little bit about specialized knowledge and um, touch again on recreation and relaxation. Um, and I also want to talk a little bit about goals and setting authentic goals that are meaningful to you. So. Uh, first of all, I'm going to touch on relaxation recreation again. Um, did another video recently about this and how important it is to set aside time to have fun because when it comes down to it, we've all got a limited amount of days here uh, on Earth in this body, however you want to look at it, but um, it's not going to last forever. And it's important to uh, make some memories, to have some fun, spend time with friends, family, you know, do crazy things and just enjoy yourself. So. Yesterday, I'll give a free plug to the Reclamation of Youth Day here in Bellingham. Uh, that's what I did from 6 in the morning until almost midnight. We went around and had a wiffle ball tournament. We built a tree fort. We jumped bikes off a dock, you know, flying 60 feet through the air. Um, jumped off cliffs, caught frisbees off, you know, docks into the water, and um, spray painted our shirts with a stencil and just had a great time. There was about 50 guys out there just going crazy and having fun and acting like we were 10 years old. That's the whole point of the day. So it was a great time. Thank you to those guys for setting it up. But a great example of just cutting loose and having fun. Um, it was on a Friday and uh, we all just took the day off of work, you know. Um, just made it a priority to get out there and have fun. So that was a great time and I'm totally glad I did it. Uh, I won't be forgetting that anytime soon and I plan on being there next year. Uh, but specialized knowledge. So if you read Think and Grow Rich, which is a classic self-improvement book, maybe the most classic self-improvement book, uh, there's a chapter in there devoted to specialized knowledge. And I think it's something that gets overlooked a bit. Um, people in the self-improvement field talk a lot about your attitude, um, setting goals, affirmations, visualization, and those are all excellent things, but the key piece that you can't forget is specialized knowledge. Uh, if you want to be above average, you need above average knowledge in your field. So I wanted to give you a quick little tip on one way I've found to help with the specialized knowledge. And it's something, you know, I spent a lot of time on the internet, but just recently I finally figured out what those RSS feeds are all about. You know those little, uh, you see the little orange icon that kind of looks like it has radio waves coming out. It's a little square, orange usually. Um, I figured out how to use them and they're awesome. I can't believe I didn't figure it out earlier. I used to sign up for all these email newsletters and get bombarded with emails and it was good information so I felt like I should let them come in but at the same time it's filling up my inbox. Well the alternative to that is you go to, I would suggest uh, Google Reader. Uh, just Google search that. Google Reader. You get the reader um, and whenever you find a blog or a web page that you really like that has great information, you go to that little RSS icon, you click on it, and you add that to your Google Reader. So whenever you feel like it, you can go to Google Reader and on the left hand side there you'll have a list of all the websites and blogs that you subscribe to and next to the name of the blog there will be a little number that might say three and that means since you've been there they've added three new items so you can click on that and check it out or you can look at the list of all the new stuff out of everything you subscribe to and scan that to see what's interesting to you it's an excellent way to really keep up on a lot of good information without having to spend hours and hours clicking going and checking websites to see if they might have something new um, it's almost like you have your own assistant that goes and reads all the newspapers in the nation for you and hands you the articles that you'd be interested in um, and alerts you when there's something you should read. So it's really great. I've been using it a lot. Uh, I use it to follow a lot of video blogs, which I kind of prefer video. I watch a lot of them. I follow Tony Robbins, Wayne Dyer, Deepak Chopra, um, Gary Vaynerchuk, uh, a bunch of uh, guys that really teach things that are good for me as far as the specialized knowledge that I need to get better at what I do. So I'd highly recommend it. Go to Google Reader, get, get signed up, and start subscribing to those blogs. Um, and it's nice because instead of all coming to your inbox and uh, overwhelming you, when you want to go get specialized knowledge, you just go to your account and there it is. So I highly recommend that. One last thing I want to touch on is goals and authentic goals that are meaningful to you. I used to set goals 
that were sort of what I thought I should set. You know, goals that were like what other people were setting. And it was usually, you know, an amount of money in the bank or earning a certain amount over a certain period of time or maybe a car, um, a house, whatever. Those kinds of goals, the very generic goals. And it's not that they're bad goals, but the fact is that I was setting them uh, when they weren't what I was really passionate about. And I hit some of them, I missed some of them, um, but it felt like a chore, it felt like homework to me, because I wasn't passionate about it. It just uh, was something that I arbitrarily decided that I should want, and so I put it down on paper, and every time I saw it, it stressed me out a little bit, because I felt like I was behind, or I wasn't working hard enough on it. Well, I've shifted that, and now I set goals only about things that really make me smile. If, if when I read my goal, I don't kind of get butterflies and grin a little bit, then it's not a worthy goal for me, you know. Um, and these goals, when I'm setting these types of goals, for me it's things like travel um, and free time to just go learn and travel around the world and see things. When I think about those goals, um, I get excited. And these are the kind of things that I don't have problem visualizing and... Um, planning on, you know, and, and getting the specialized knowledge I need to make those things happen. Um, so in other words, set goals that you're truly passionate about. Don't just pick a goal because it seems like something you should be setting. Um, don't set a goal to get something that's going to impress other people. Uh, it's just you're not going to be passionate enough about that normally. And again, I'm not here to tell you what your goals are, but um, just make sure that when you set a goal, it's something that gets you excited and something that you kind of grin and laugh about thinking about having it. So um, think of those kind of things and set appropriate goals and then go get the specialized knowledge and use the tools out there, the great free tools like Google Reader, uh, to go get that specialized knowledge that will help you attain those goals. So best of luck with everything, everybody. Go check out PositiveAtmosphere.com. It's a great self-improvement community. We've got a bunch of great people and videos and articles there to help you uh, get towards your dreams. So check it out, positiveatmosphere.com. Have a great day.